Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art here. Today I figured we'd have a bit of a play with an invisible swipe. So in the last video I did an invisible bloom with all interference colours. So this time we'll do it with a swipe rather than a bloom. So it's a mix of Perlex interference colours and this little piggy interference colours. So that one's a blue. So you see it changes colour in the light. They all look white, but as soon as the light hits them, different angles, they all change colour. Tricky. So what we're going to do is just lay a whole heap of different interference colours down really nearly random that one is macaw by this little piggy this one is a green by perlex we have twinkle by this little piggy We have a comet by this little piggy. Now if you want to buy this little piggy products, there's a link in the description for Fluid Art Co. They stock all the this little piggy pigments. And what else should we use? Sequins. Okay, so that's sequins. Yeah, it's got a violet sort of colour shift to it. Yet it looks white. How trippy is that? Love this stuff. Okay. So what we do is put all those down on the white pillow. Did I mention what the white pillow was? I can't remember. If I didn't, it is British Paints Low Sheen. Picture should be about there right about now. Okay, so just pop them bubbles. Don't go too close or you will cook the paint. That's not good. Okay, what we're going to do is use a plain card as a swipe tool. King of Clubs. Hmm. What we'll do is put on some cell activator which is Amsterdam titanium white mixed with Australian flow troll roughly about four to one so that's four parts flow troll to one part paint okay so we put that on the playing card then we're just going to give it a swipe And hopefully, all the magic cells will pop up. Like that. So we'll leave that for a second. Let the cell activator sink. So what's happening there is all that cell activator sinking through all those interference pigments, micas, whatever you'd like to call them. And as it sinks through, it pushes the other colours up from underneath. That's why you get little cells. So what we're going to do is give that a stretch. Just by tilting it. Tilt that way. Tilt back the other way. Don't drop it. Because that would be bad. Maybe back to the beginning again. Always go back to the center. Tends to keep things more or even. So that looks like you've just got a white web on the top without the light on. I mean, as soon as you tilt it, it looks like an opal. 
how cool is that now you can wreck that if you want where you grab a skewer if I had one laying around I would show you but I've misplaced it what did I do with my skewer oh no that was well planned out it's all good anyway because I'm not going to wreck it that's a first so what we're going to do is move that as close to center as possible it'll be spinner haha <laughs> look what I found skewer so if you wanted to wreck that you just give it a wiggle and then when you spin it you'll get weird sort of patterns through it as you'll see in probably 20 of my other videos anyway so what we'll do is give this one a spin get some of this paint off okay so we'll give that a spin go back the other way I absolutely love interference colors it's so sneaky you don't even notice that they're there until the light hits them at a certain angle okay so When the light hits that, all the little multicolor jelly beans pop up. And that's just a mix of all different interference colors. Okay. Don't forget, after every tile you do, round canvas whatever you're using give the bottom a scrape just so that the weight of the paint on the sides doesn't drag off your design on the top the weight just goes bloop and distorts everything so pays to do that and there you go now I'll usually let that dry for about a couple of weeks before I coat it in resin obviously depending on the weather because at the moment it's still pouring down with rain here and I have coasters that I painted seven eight days ago that are still wet so it all depends on where you are in the world what your weather's like etc to how long it takes to actually be able to resin it so this will probably take three or four weeks I'd say quite possibly and then I'll get a coat of resin and it should look absolutely amazing all right guys please hit the like share and subscribe ring the notification bell that way you get to see all of my videos as they're released if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can. And that's how we do an invisible swipe. All right, guys, take care, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.